Hello guys, welcome back. In this video, we'll be doing the last upgrade to the ASUS K50i laptop. Same as what we did in the first two parts for this project. This is going to be a composition of different recording sessions during a period of about two weeks, trying adapters and waiting on parts. I hope you'll learn as much as I did. Now we took off the cover. If you don't know how to take the cover, just watch our previous video. It's pretty simple. Just remove the battery cover. Remove the battery, one screw goes here, and four that goes on the bottom side. So we have here our Wi Fi adapter. As you can see, we have a black and a white wire. Those are for the antenna. And those are the ones that we are going to be carefully taking off and removing this adapter. Slip it down here because it will want to lift. Okay, just lift it like so and pull it. Alright, this is our this is the Wi-Fi card that the ASUS had installed from factory. And we are going to be replacing it with a AR5B225 for those that want to search what kind of card we are installing. This came from a Dell laptop. and upgrade our system to have Bluetooth. And why am I doing so? Well, because I have already lost two adapters and I don't think I would like to spend more on adapters that are going to get lost. So this time, the white wire is going to go into the white triangle and the black wire is going in to the black triangle. Okay, now that these two are installed here, it's just a matter of assembling it all back together and, uh, and test it out. Okay, let's see if, if it works. Let's power the computer up. Alright. Well, apparently the computer does not like this adapter, or the adapter could be bad. But I know the computer is not dead, so it must be uh, something with the adapter. Okay, I already took off the uh, the screws that are holding this down. Uh, I'm going to take it off from the wires. Alright, the computer put it. So there are no issues related to the computer itself, but Something here is not allowing the computer to boot. Okay, since we know that the computer works without the adapter, I found another donor laptop and took off its card, installed the adapter. This one is a Broadcom. BCM 94312HNG. Uh, this one also came from a, from a Dell computer. So again, we're going to install this one here. There's no power, it's not connected to anything, so... Let's flip it again. Let's 
connect the power here. Alright. There we are. We'll see, okay, it's powered on. And the screen just uh, worked. It's booting now. So welcome to Windows. Now it's installing the hardware, so it does work. Now my question is, could be that the adapter that I took on first is damaged? It could be a possibility. So let's shut it off again and fry it again with the first card maybe it was uh, that connection or something Okay, continuing with the uh, Wi-Fi upgrade. This is the card that we're going to be using. This one contains the Wi-Fi and also uh, Bluetooth integrated into it. And this is how we're going to put it in. Last time we tried with this adapter that for some reason it did not allow to, uh, wait, no, it's not this one. Last time we, tr we tried with this adapter, I came out of a Dell motherboard, but it did not work. For some reason it did not allow uh, the computer to boot up. Now let's place Now let's place uh, the wires into the adapter. And assemble it all back together. Okay, the controller has been detected. It's right here, network controller. If we hit the properties, it has a blue triangle because, of course, the drivers are not installed. And also, we have Bluetooth device that was not there uh, before. We're going to be installing the drivers for it. This driver, because the drivers are not installed, we are adding a new hardware. Okay, let's close. And open up the folder that contains drivers. First, we are going to be adding Bluetooth and uh, Okay, let's hold for a moment because the driver did not download correctly. Okay, 
we are going to install a wireless driver. Let's see what some custom is. Right, uh, those are things that we don't need right now. Okay, uh, we're going to click here on finish and install the Bluetooth driver or the Bluetooth software. What I am concerned about is that if the function for Bluetooth is, uh, on wireless is going to work. Oh, it will. It will. Let me finish installing. Oh, something happened here. I probably downloaded the wrong version. Uh, no, I did not. It is 6 to 4. Close this down, and as you can see, we have the Bluetooth here, the personal area network, the RF, the RFC, or TDI, as you like to call it, and the 7260. So let's see if it's really worth it. Not connected. Let's see. Probably I have that thing turned off. Right. Now both are working. Okay, not connected. Connections are available. Ooh, and now it's working on the 5G. That's great. And Bluetooth. Let's see about Bluetooth. No Bluetooth devices. And the most important part here on the Asus K50 is the function then when you press the F2, which is to turn off the uh, Wi Fi and Bluetooth, you have them there. You can turn them off, you can turn them on. But if you press two times, What's the function that if you press two times, it will only work with uh, one part, like uh, Wi-Fi or Bluetooth. But anyways, I, I would like to have them both turned on. And it's working.
To close it down, I like how all of the upgrades brought new life to this 10-year-old computer. I can edit HD videos, work on voiceover, even do light gaming. So if you have an old computer that is still working and it has room for improvement, I welcome you to do so. It is an adventure finding what works and what doesn't. And it feels great when you finish a project and see it working the way you want it. Don't forget about the learning aspect of trying things that work and what does not work. So I hope that this adventure has been helpful, interesting, or at least entertaining in some way. And if you enjoyed this video or have any questions, leave a comment. If you want to see more like it, stay tuned. Until next time.